What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jay, and I'm back at it again with another video. So today I'm just sitting outside of the barbershop waiting for Duna. But I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me lately. I've been feeling like I'm um, just, I don't know why this guy just keeps staring at me, but I've been feeling like I am, hey, I've been feeling like um, I'm just running into a whole bunch of trials right now. Um, well, with anything you do in life, anything you experience in life, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna have pros and you're gonna have cons. And right now I'm facing some cons and um, I don't know, it's, it's getting tough you guys, but with the grace of God, and my daughter and Duna, I just use them as motivation to keep pushing to, to be more, to be better, and do whatever I can to make it work with us. But um, me and Duna has both decided to go back to school in the fall, so we're just trying to build our own empire, get something going, because nowadays, working minimum wage jobs or even just not having a degree or school or further education it's uh just preventing preventing a lot of uh, um it's preventing people to actually like do do more and to be their full potential i feel like i feel like a lot of people just settle with what they can what they can get as a job mcdonald's or anything and with, with that being said like if you do settle with working in those type of jobs, I'm not down talking you, but what I'm saying is a lot of people get comfortable with the position they're in and they never try to be better than what they can or what they're doing at the moment. And I'm complete opposite. I'm always trying to do the best or be the best. And I mean, you know, people have their opinions about that, but it's not for myself, it's for my daughter because at the end of the day, at the end of my time, I want her to be, um, just set in a good and it start like I just want to start her off good you know and make sure she doesn't have to want for anything and so my goal is to just push as much as I can so like I said we're probably gonna uh do the schooling back in the fall so I'm looking forward to that I'm ready to start something new um last six years I have done caregiving it's been great well, I guess I should say caregiving slash, nah, just caregiving, but I don't know. I have experience in like fast food and I worked at the Boys and Girls Club, but for the majority of it, my experience is in caregiving and it's, it's hard when you're looking for something outside of what you're, excuse me, what you're, um, what you have experience in and you're looking outside of it, it's really hard to find a job. Um, most places nowadays require one year of experience and yeah, that's my struggle right now. I, I really don't have too much experience in anything else other than caregiving, so. Um, well, caregiving, fast food, communications, like things like that, but I just want something that's gonna pay a little bit better than I'm getting paid now. I'm like, People keep making the comment like, well, if you're looking for money, you shouldn't be in the caregiving field. But if you think about it, I feel like caregiver, caregivers, caregiving, um, they should get paid way more. We do so much and I feel like we're doing a lot for other people that we don't have to do. So I feel like they should be appreciated a lot more and caregivers aren't. Um, I believe that's why the turnover rate is so high because the pay is very minimum. And then you're like working all these hours doing all this stuff for all these different clients and you know providing it for their needs and at the end of the day when you need something accommodated for or you have an issue with something or anything it's like yeah yeah you have to work and yeah people need to be taken care of but at the same time you have a life outside of work and things come up problems issues um whatever the case may be and you know being in this Build, it's hard to take time off or 
um, request days off just because there's people that don't want to do it. And I, this company in general, they their turnover their turnover rate is really high. Um, I was just on Craigslist the other day looking, and they had like six ads out for this company. Um, I'm not gonna say the name. I'm not trying to bash the company or anything. Um, I'm just stating how I feel about it simply. And um, I just wish things were a little bit better, you know, but um, like the clients are okay. I don't, um, I work with a whole bunch of great people. Um, they all tell me like I should open a private, a private practice or something, or just do work through the state. So that way they can just book me like that and don't have to have a middleman, but I don't know, man. It's so much stuff that I just, I don't think I really want to stay in the, um, in this field in, in particular. I thought about nursing, but I don't know. I, I just, I want to find something that interests me and keeps me going because I feel like if I just jump into something and I'm not interested in it or if I'm not ready to um, really engage myself in it, I just feel like I'm going to give up or not take it as serious or even just potentially not do as best as I can. So I've been doing some research and I've been looking at a few programs just to see what's the best option for myself. And also just trying to see what will be very beneficial for my future as far as what I want to do. I've been thinking about business. So um, I've been thinking about law. I've been thinking about photography. I've been thinking about digital media. Like there's, there's just so many things that I've been thinking about and considering and so that that is one thing that kind of um, makes me want to really figure it out because I don't want to two months from now say hey this is not something I want to do waste um, I don't have time or money to waste you know so just trying to figure it out you guys I, I gotta I gotta do it I gotta show my baby like no matter what life throws at you you gotta make something out of it no matter what you can never give up and just be helpless and just think that there's no other possible solution because it's going to get hard it's going to get very hard there's been times where i just tell myself like i don't know what i can do i, I don't i don't know what to do and then i pray about it and you know what god always 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 figures out a solution for me and i feel like i'm forever blessed and I'm just so appreciative that I can, uh, you know, call on him and get that type of help and just to help with my feelings as well because, you know, it gets hard and sometimes we do lose sight and just faith and, like, that we can keep going and that we can be strong to do whatever we want to do. It gets hard, but I don't know. There's people out here like me, Duna. I know, you know, we're, we're, we're here willing to listen, to give advice and to be to be there as much as we can we help as many people as we can i i talk to as many people as i can and give them as much advice as i can because growing up i didn't have someone i could just go to and talk and ask things to and so i did a lot of trial and error just doing and learning from it and figuring out wrong from right and bumping my head and you know but I don't mind. It wouldn't have made if I didn't go through that. I probably wouldn't be the person I am today. So it's okay. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I know a lot of people have been asking me like, what's going on, and it's frustrating that I have to find something else again because I thought leaving that last company, the one that terminated me, I thought that. Um, I'd be, well, when I got hired with this company, I thought that it was going to be over and done with, but it's okay. I'm ready to start a new chapter of my life, so I just feel like this is a gateway to starting something new, so I'm going to pursue it 110 and do the, do the best I can do, so I'll do whatever I can to make it happen for us, but yeah, you guys, I was just checking in with you guys. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe to us if you haven't, tell your friends about us, Adults with Daniel and Jay, 
we will be posting bangers all this week so please stay tuned i will be uploading all links on uh, my facebook and my instagram so stay connected with me you guys you can find me on facebook at j-a-y-y j-a-y-y j-j on facebook and on instagram you can find me yella y-e-l-l-a l-a-d-y-y j-a-y-y so yella lady with two y's j with two y's just stay with us and you know just watch us progress on our journey because from when we first started um youtube which is a couple months ago i feel like we progressed so much so you guys just just watch us just watch us just watch us we got some stuff for you guys soon but you guys stay blessed happy father's day to all the fathers out there and we'll see you guys soon